So one of the biggest questions that many people probably had when they played through the prologue is um, can you actually go ahead and fight against Adam Smasher? Unfortunately, if you play the normal way, the game kind of prevents all of that since he at most comes really close but doesn't really get into a full-on fight with V, at least not at this stage. That actually happens way later into the game. Now there's two reasons why we are asking this question today. One of them is simply for the heck of it, like how is it to fight an overpowered 97% robotic being right at the start of the game when you barely have anything? Well, in this case we will have quite a few installments ourselves too, but um, there's also the second question which is what if we can get Adam to drop his access card that we can then further use for his secret stash and access it way earlier basically as soon as we finish the prologue instead of having to wait all the way up until the very last story mission and only be able to do it after that and you might be surprised by the results in this video so let's jump right into it okay so here's an interesting thing like as you can see Adam Smasher is now um, in a red outline the thing about this is that if an enemy detects me, there's a certain cyberware install that I have, like this one right here with a threat detector, that automatically highlights enemies who have detected you. And it automatically highlighted Adam Smasher like a few moments ago. So he knows that I'm here. He knows that at the very least we two are right here behind this wall. Like see? But he's not saying anything. And this is like the strangest thing because there were a lot of people who um, kind of theorized that he knows all along that you are behind this uh, kind of structure right here. But he doesn't say anything because he doesn't consider you a threat. Which again makes no sense because he's Yorinobu's bodyguard. So he should say something, right? Oh, and there's Takemura. Well, he's even worse than Adam Smasher because he can't detect us at all. So like he's not even a threat. But Adam, like he knows, he knows I'm here and he is staring directly at me, dude. Like this is creepy as heck. But it doesn't matter because we're going to own him in just a few moments. Okay, so they are both going in the elevator. That's probably going to be like the worst elevator ride in history. Well, that just happened. And it can't be right. Like, it's definitely not right, because I know what happens next. But it's kind of funny to see it again. Like, look, see? Adam again detects us. He knows we're here. And he's been killed. He knows we're here. He sees us. Like, my, my threat detector is... <laughs> yeah, he definitely sees us. He, he still doesn't do anything. Probably because he doesn't care. Like, he was hired by Yorinobu, so it makes sense that um, he doesn't really care. Maybe he even knows about Yorinobu's plan of killing his father. Takemura's like, I don't know, man. That, that seems kind of sus. Poisoned? You were alone in the same room with him and he was poisoned with strangle marks? Hmm, yes. And he folded. Weak. Weak hands, dude. And yeah, they just they just leave, right? Yeah, they just leave. Like Adam Smasher is so confident that we're no no threat that he, he's literally like, eh. What the fuck just happened in there? <laughs> just lost Subaru. What? Oh. Poor Subaru. He's so dead on my screen. You know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Right, so the thing is, like, normally you would just run inside of that Dala main and, yeah, just make your way out because these are really difficult early on. But honestly, I don't really need it. Well, my aim kind of sucks. But it's really not needed with these guys. There you go. That almost went a bit too bad. Now... Here's the thing, if I were to jump into this Dala main, it would run through that gate and yeah, we would not be able to interact with Adam Smasher at all. Now, fortunately enough, you can glitch through this. Now, of course, it's gonna require a certain uh, cheat that you need to do, but if you're on PC, you can activate a clipping sort of trainer that lets you go through things. So, for example, if I do it in this case, yeah, it activated 
the clipping mod. I'm gonna link it down below. But what I'm going to do right here is I'm just gonna use that briefly so I can make my way out like this. And I'm on the other side. So here is where you would drive with a car. Actually, let me save. Let me do a save file before that. So you would normally drive with a car, you would get attacked and whatnot. And right here around the corner is where Adam Smasher, yeah, there he is. Adam Smasher would come in, smash into your car, and you would have to be careful with that. So I wasn't actually expecting him to be here, but I will try to do a breach protocol and... Yeah, he probably has the cheapest security I've ever seen from any NPC whatsoever. But I'm really curious, does he die from this? Um, maybe if we go with Contagion. I think that we're gonna try Contagion first, and then something else. And <laughs> what? He just popped like that? Is that it? Well, not really the strongest being, but yeah, he just dropped it. He just dropped the access token. I think that this is the exact one that we need to access his secret stash on that. Um, I'm not really sure what it is, like a boat or whatever. I kind of really want to test a few things out. Like, would he attack me? Is he going to do anything outside of staying over there? Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, he's just gonna stay there and not really do anything. Well, well... Wait, I can take him down. No way, dude. I can't take him down because he's... I mean, he's Adam Smasher. You can't take him down. I can smack him in the head. And holy Jesus. Dude, that was the biggest smack in the head I've seen in all my life. I'm pretty strong right now with this build that I have. And that's because I'm running with a hacker build that also uses a really high crit chance with the short circuit passive. Yeah, as long as you get that 100% crit chance, it one shots everything, including Adam Smasher. So I kind of want to try it out without this one. And yeah, I'm doing, I'm barely doing any damage. Luckily enough, he's not reacting in any way, at least not at this point. Um, simply because, yeah, the script is not being activated. But it seems that I'm barely doing any damage. So under under normal circumstances, I would get absolutely annihilated and I'm only missing that short circuit. I still have a really amazing build, by the way, which would otherwise destroy anything in the game. But against him, I'm doing like 50 damage. That's that's nothing. And that's because I'm also kind of cheating a little bit with the save file where I'm, yeah, level 50. I have everything maxed out right before the heist mission. So, yeah, this is kind of it with Adam Smasher. Now, we just killed him. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back and just finish the mission. So, we're just going to clip back through the garage door just like that and now i'm just going to finish the mission as usual what i'm wondering right now is that will he spawn again or is he going to completely uh, miss like the entire scene oh yeah yeah he is missing the entire scene completely well it still happens normally but it's just that his body is over there dead lying somewhere on the ground or underground because yeah he just got kept like that so that is actually quite interesting so here is what we're gonna do right here we're gonna well this is basically after finishing that uh, prologue um it passed a little bit of time of course i had to make another save file right here but um we're gonna head over to this side of the map over in north watson because here is where we will find the docks and right next to them there's gonna be that big boat with his secret room and i'm kind of wondering is this going to work i think it is we have the double jump i think we can make it so let's go ahead and do it now the thing is that we're gonna have to pass through um, this door right here there's this facility and i believe that right next to this door yeah here is where we will find the big boat so this is from the mission chipping in by the way but we can get to it way earlier than that there's no restriction to a secret room we just have to go up these stairs we're gonna take uh, the right i mean the left side right here all the way into the front of the ship the thing is i don't think i came here on this save file yet but i can open the door i'm pretty sure that you can do this right off the bat what's important is that the secret stash inside of it cannot be accessed otherwise so yeah you can get these weapons right here they look pretty legit but the one that's most important is the arasaka briefcase right here and it seems I can. It seems that I can get the crafting spec for the boxing um, chong, whatever it is called. I'm not really sure how you pronounce this. Bazing Zing Zhong. Dude, I'm just twisting my, my tongue right now. But 
I just got it. I just got it right after the prologue. You don't have to finish the main mission. All you have to do is to just clip through that garage door. Use either a cheat or maybe a trainer that lets you clip through things. And go ahead, take down Adam Smasher. Then go back into the garage door. Finish that main mission. And then just come to his secret stash. And you're gonna be able to just do it. And yeah, this is kind of it. Can you kill Adam Smasher in the prologue? Yes, if you kind of cheat. But it's definitely possible to not just kill him. But also take his VIP card. But yeah, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.